Good evening. This is Chess Now, episode 60, broadcasting on the 17th of December. And today we have our, we have our computer vision system, and you can check this out on the website. And I have the Grand Master George Grasser, who I will be playing. And um, and now we're going to start this game, and uh, I want people to call in, and it's going to be a good one. So get on your phones and call and give us suggestions and moves. So we'll be waiting for you, and we're going to start. Good How you doing, George? I'm doing just great. That's good. That's good. Now I'm starting with a queen's pawn open. Yep. Nate has played pawn to d4. Pawn in the center. So I'm going to respond with probably one of the most common moves, knight to f6. Now I'm playing pawn to b to pawn to c4. He has played pawn to c4. Now I'm going to do something interesting, something I haven't played in a long time. I'm going to try the Budapest counter gambit, pawn to d5. And I'm playing knight to f3. F3. Nate has declined to capture the e5 pawn, which is the most common move. In this position, d takes e5 is the most common move. And then black has two responses. Knight to e4 and knight to g4. But Nate decided not to do that. Knight to F3. So I have to look at the position. Yeah, I just decided I want to try something a little different. I'm going to take pawn takes D4. And knight takes d4. Four. Four. Bishop to b4 check. Bishop to d2, blocking the check. So don't be bashful, people. Call in, give us some, uh, give us some, give us some moves, give us some ideas. Pawn to e3, developing this other bishop. I'm going to play knight to c6, threatening Nate's knight at d4 because that pawn at e3 is pinned, so if I capture Nate's knight, he will not be able to capture back because the queen will be checking the king. 
Yeah, so George is putting pressure on me. Nate is attacking both my queen with knight f5 and my g7 pawn. I'm going to respawn queen to e5, attacking Nate's knight. Now I will play bishop to b4. I just took his bishop. Nate has captured my bishop on b4. And I'm quite sure George is going to retaliate. Well, I have two choices. Queen takes f5, queen captures knight, and knight takes b4. So now I have to calculate a little bit to see which one I should do. Since queen takes knight would give white the bishop pair, which is normally better than two knights or a knight and a bishop, I am going to play knight captures the bishop on b4. And now my knight on on F5. F5 is still in danger, so I have to do something, right? That's right. So the audience out there, so somebody can call yeah, if and... if wants to call in and give Nate some help, that would be appreciated. Yeah, give some help. <laughs> you people out there give me the impression that like one person is watching the show, and I travel quite a few miles to get here. So I'm not too happy. I'm playing Knight to D4. Nate has decided not to take my pawn with check. Well, let, let's see, Nate, what would have happened if I had he taken with this pawn with check? I guess I would go king to f8. Yes. And, and then my trapped, knight right? would be trapped. That's why I didn't take that pawn. So, I didn't want my knight to be trapped. If Nate captured this pawn, I could just go king to f8. And I do believe that knight is completely trapped and cannot escape. But if his knight wasn't at a, b, c. FG at F6, then I would have taken that pawn on G7 and check. So you played knight to D4? Knight to D4. play pawn to c5 and see what happens. Oh, my knight is being attacked. So I have to do something. Yeah, I oh, think queen takes e no, check no, wins. No. Goodness. Pawn to f4 is not a good move because of queen captures e3 and then this knight on d4 is hanging. This 
instead night to night I'm gonna move my night back to F three. Night to F three. Attacking I'm attacking. Nate is attacking my queen. Now I'm gonna take a chance and play Queen captures B2. And attacking Nate's rook on A1. See there. So now he is half playing. Playing knight to d2. Knight to d2. This way of protecting my rook from being taken by his queen. It doesn't seem adequate though, Nate. No, it's looking, looking kind of bleak over here. Yes, I Need have. Need somebody to call up here. Give some advice, quick. I think it might be a little late. Now I have knight c2 check. Mm, mm, mm. Terrible. And it looks like I win the rook at a1. Yes. I play king to e2. e2. Nate has played king to e2. It's probably the only move that Nate has. He doesn't want to play queen captures knight. He loses queen. And now after knight takes a1, I believe I've just won a rook with no compensation, but... Mm. Sure did. It's alright, I'll call him over. Pawn to G3. Knight to e4. I played knight to e4. This knight on d2 is pinned. It cannot capture the knight on e4. And I bring another piece into the attack. F to G2. Okay. Bishop on F1 to G2. It's played by Nate. What this did by moving the bishop out of the way was connected this rook and this queen, so this knight is now vulnerable and subject to capture on the very next move. And also trying to make a space for my king to go. But unfortunately for Nate, I'm there quicker after knight c3 check. The queen mm -hmm. on d1 mm -hmm. is going to be captured. So, I needed some phone help. Yeah, yeah. Once again, huge disappointment with the public. Mm -hmm. King to E1. King to E1. Knight to C2 check. I thought I knew that move was, was coming. <laughs> King to F1. You got me running. Yes. Got me, got, he has me running over here. Nate's trying to escape. But unfortunately, I, I just won too much material. Now I take the queen on d1. My goodness. And it looks Gracious. like everything is hopeless at this point. It is actually hopeless. I need help. I don't have to worry about that. I will call an ambulance in a minute. Bishop, moving Bishop to h Three. Bishop to h3. Uh, what neighborhood are you from again now? Upper West Side. Upper West Side. So this should be calling it. Upper West Side, call in. 
downtown call in. Uptown. Need to see one. F to G2. King on F1 to G2. On to B6. So I can bring my bishop on C8 into the game. to b3, attacking his queen. Nate is attacking my queen on c1. I have a little energy, enough to do a little bit of attacking. Uh, try to expose Nate's king a little bit more. Knight captures e3 check. Knight on c2 captures e3 with check. And, and of course I have to take that knight. That captures e3. Capturing e3. move I intended to do, queen captures e3, doesn't look like it works because of rook to e1. So I will play queen to c2 check. My goodness, upper west side, somebody call. Granite village, upper east side. King to F1. He just played King to F1. Probably would have been better to block with one of these knights because after Queen to F2 check, mate, the game's over. And I just been mated. George Grasses mated me. Yeah. Uh, that was a good, good game. That was a good one. Good one, George. Yeah. So. Can we can get another one? Can we get okay. another one? Sure, let's I'll okay. give you the black ones. Good. Let's see how fast we can go to. It's gonna be one. a quickie. Does he want me to set up the demonstration board again? Mm, What's I, he saying? Well, I guess it's gonna be a quickie. I don't know if we're gonna have time to set up the demonstration okay. board. I'll, so I'll shout the moves out, folks, in case you can see him. Pawn to e4 is what I'm playing. Nate responds, pawn to e5. I'm going to go knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4. Knight to f6, the two knights defense. Knight to g5, attacking the pawn on f7. Nate plays pawn to d5, blocking that possibility. I will capture the pawn at d5. Nate is captured at d5 with his knight. I will take the pawn at f7. This is called the fried liver attack. In a previous episode, you saw me and Phil play this similar position. Queen to f3 check, forcing the black king to come up to e6. I'm going to take this knight, Nate. So you have to go king e6. You don't really have any choice. Yeah. And I put more pressure on the d5 knight. So now your choices are either knight, c6 to b4, or e7. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play pawn to a3, sacrificing this pawn at c2. Come there with a check. King to d1, sacrificing my knight at a1. Or you can go knight to d4 too if you don't want to accept that rook.
now I'm threatening his queen. I'm trying to even it out, I'm trying to level it out here. Okay, bishop to d5 check, capturing the knight. Seven. Queen to F7 check. King to D6. And Knight E4 is checkmate. Yep, sure is. Good game, George. That's another good game. That good was game. quick. Yeah, that was a quick. Maybe we can get another quick one in? Okay, try. At least we're entertaining the people this time, huh? Oh, yes, indeed. Maybe they can do me a favor by actually watching the show. How's that for an idea? You can get somebody to call in now. Yeah. You don't have much time. Give us a call. Yes, yes. Episode 59. We uploaded that. We didn't do a good job at uploading that, but we've corrected it. So episode 59 is an excellent episode. You can go on the website and check it out in high definition. It is played e5. I'm going to play the Sicilian defense pawn to c5. Okay, pawn to f4, I'll strike in the center, since he's striking on the wings, I will strike in the center with pawn to d5. He pushes the pawn forward. I will just develop my knight to c6, knight to f3. I'm going to bring my knight out, bishop out to g4, excuse me. to b5, pinning my c6 knight. I'm going to play pawn to e6. And I'm going to castle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bishop to e7. Now. Hey. Hey, okay, all right. Okay. King's Bishop. Can you see? Well, right now, it's White's move. I've just played Bishop to E7. Oh, okay. Now, I just played Pawn to D4. To D4. Oh, okay, so now it's Black? Yeah, Black's turn. Yes. Well, I like queen to b6. You don't, you don't have a quick game going here. Yeah, we got a quick game going here. I like queen to b6. How about that? Go for it. Yeah, that's All right. Fun. Where are you from? I'm from the Upper West Side. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, that's there good. You go. Yeah, good. The upper West Side. I'm attacking your bishop at b5, Nate. Yeah, I want to see now when it game. <laughs> all yeah. right, all right. Playing knight to c3. Anyway, maybe it looks like you guys got it under control, so you keep, keep it up, but we're going to want to see now when it gains. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Sure. All right. All Thanks right. for calling. You bet. C takes D4. Bishop takes knight check. Okay. Had to do that because he would have moved something else. I would have taken... Okay. Pawn takes the bishop at C6. Not with the queen, because then I go bishop c5. Mm. Oh, jeez, mm. you can't take it at all. Mm. Mm. No. Yes. You, I don't think you can't do that. Bishop c5 and you put wings oh, pin. Yes, right, I can't do that. that. Attacking the pawn at d4, of course. So I will just push pawn to c5. Attacking the pawn. Okay. I have one minute left. Yeah. Bishop, king, bishop. To d2. D2. Okay. 
9, knight h6. h3, capture the knight at f3, yeah, or captures f3, rook. rook captures f3. The castle king side. Yes, he just castle, he's running. <laughs> yeah, not running, I get a rook out. A rook on f8 is now uh, developed. Knight to g3. Okay. All right, I'm going to try pawn to f6. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn. I'll recapture my bishop. Bishop on e7 takes f6. Queen to d2. Queen to e2. Queen to e2. 